Hi, right, welcome back. Welcome to this Forecourt film for this absolutely stunning 2017 VW Touareg. This is the R-Line Plus model um, and it's absolutely packed with features uh, that I'll talk you through in a second. It's finished in this absolutely stunning dark blue and it's presented in absolutely stunning condition. Uh, we'll talk you through how all the features work uh, and uh, all the different uh, items of specification that this particular car has, uh, including the much sought after air suspension, and uh, we'll take it from there. So this is our 2017 VW Touareg. So bodywork wise we've just completed a, um, a full detail polish on the car, absolutely uh, incredible finish on the paintwork. Uh, all four wheels have been refurbished so they're completely unmarked, they've been acid dipped, powder coated and then painted in this beautiful silver. We've also fitted two brand new Pirelli Scorpion Verde tyres to the front as well. So the car's been beautifully uh, prepared by us, we also have uh, brand new uh, brake discs on the front, uh, the rear discs are all in very very good condition and if we just come down the passenger side here you'll see the paintwork, it's all completely unmarked and in absolutely lovely order. All around the back, no uh, loading scratches or anything like that to the area at the back here. Back bumper completely free of any blemishes or marks. Another perfect wheel, obviously, as I said, all four have been, uh, have been completely refurbished, so there's not a mark on any of those. And if we come all the way down the driver's side, again, you get to see the real depth of the paintwork which is absolutely beautiful. So in terms of the uh, external specification, we've got the Xenon headlights here on the front with the LED uh, sort of design. Um, and then also slightly different to the other Touaregs, we have uh, these two sensors down here, one on each side. And in fact, very handily, we have another car here. And you can see that they're blanked in on this car as this car has been uh, equipped with the advanced active cruise control uh, which is the sort of uh, laser guided cruise um, which picks up from the sensors the cars that, uh, that you're following in front of you and the car will automatically slow down and even in traffic situations will actually bring you to a complete halt as well um, you'll also see the camera on the front here and then we also have side cameras built into the mirrors underneath and also a reversing camera to give you a full sort of 360 view um, and then the front camera also has like got a fisheye um, style lens to it so you can actually look down at junctions and things like that as well. Um, you'll also notice that the ride height on this car is sitting very very low again in comparison with the standard ride height to our egg that we'll, um, we'll uh, just show you over here. And that's because the car has been equipped with the um, with the full air suspension package. Um, and uh, I'll just sort of overlay some video of the car going up and down now. But the off-road height is incredibly high. And very, very good if you're needing to, uh, to obviously take the car off-road or wade through deep water or anything like that. Um, and then it can be lowered all the way down to the um, to the bottom setting for uh, for loading. Um, and then in the automatic mode, the car will actually rise and, uh, and fall in terms of uh, ride height while you're driving along so that it sits lower on the motorway and things like that. So yeah, absolutely beautiful condition. Um, really love this color. And the combination of the interior, as you'll see in just a second, works extremely well. So we have this absolutely beautiful and extremely well cared for ivory leather all the way through. This is the softer grade leather as well compared to the, um, to the ones on the other ones. Uh, it also has the full comfort package. So we have uh, electric seats down here as well. Uh, with all of your lumbar support, really lovely thick pile carpets. Being the R-Line Plus, we also have wonderful three-spoke leather steering wheel. The leather on the car is in absolutely stunning condition, all the stitching and everything like that. And uh, really nice still matte finish to the um, steering wheel, it hasn't gone all nasty and shiny or anything like that. Um, all the carpets are all in exceptional condition. And then we also have piano black inlays around the dashboard. And then importantly, this is the um, part here for the for the air suspension. So all the Tuaregs will come with with this right hand dial on here. But if you see this one, this means that the car's been equipped with the suspension, and you have a number of different settings there. 
to uh, to use those. Um, I'll come back to the interior in, in a second and sort of talk you through some of the specification. But we have a uh, electric tailgate for the rear and decent split seats in the back there. We also have the uh, this is the the air suspension settings for the for the back, so you don't even have to have the engine turned on. Um, you can press this, and the car will raise and lower um, depending on the setting. Um, in the back there and then these buttons here will also just unhook the, the rear seat so you can fold those down flat. Also have 12 volt sockets in the back and different sort of storage nets and things like that um, so you can put bottles and larger items stop them rolling around in the boot. Um, underneath the car comes with a uh, tyre inflation kit and spare wheel again not all of them come with that so it's quite a nice feature to have um, so you have the, the sort of emergency wheel there um, and then all of your jack and everything like that is underneath, locking wheel nut and everything in place there as well. Uh, luggage cover all in place. And again, all lovely and clean and in nice condition. And just press this to close the boot down. That's your reversing camera there. Through to the back. Again, absolutely beautiful condition. All of the door card, lower plastics, leather trimmed all the way to the top and through to the back. The interior is also flooded with light thanks to the panoramic sunroof. We also have an electronic blind that comes across there. And again, just looking at the quality of the leather all the way through. You obviously have ISOFIX child seat points, pull down section here with cup holders for the rear passengers. And then this car's also been equipped with uh, heated rear seats as well. So the uh, the outer two of these seats are, uh, are heated and the controls are down there. It's a three stage system. Um, to, uh, to just press there and then because it's got the storage package we also have all the storage nets on the back there as well but hopefully this gives you a, a good idea of the quality of the interior and then through to the front so we have uh, controls here for your power folding door mirrors they're also heated as well for the winter uh, and then you can lock and unlock uh, the car is equipped with a uh, keyless go or advanced key keyless entry as well as keyless start so um, in order to lock the car as long as you've got the keys on your on your um, in your pocket or in your hand um, or just somewhere on your person um, you can lock the car just by pressing that and the mirrors will fold in just to show that the car has uh, locked itself and then simply walk up to the car and just put your hand on the handle and that will unlock the car for you so a really nice system it means you're not having to fumble around for your keys and, uh, and find those and then once you're in the car you've got the start stop button just down here which you press and again the car will pick up the fact that you're in uh, sorry the car will pick up the fact that you've got the keys on you um, and you'll start with you won't actually have to put the key into the ignition itself uh, so we also have um, automatic headlights and automatic windscreen wipers also have paddle shift gear change as well for the automatic gearbox um, and then all of the sort of controls for the onboard computer um, that, uh, that comes up on the dash there as well as all your media functions voice control and everything like that for your telephone uh, all built onto that side of the steering wheel there so I'll just jump in And we'll press start stop. And the car pops into life there. See the mileage to date, just, uh, just over 29,000 miles. And if we come across, just to show you all the bits and pieces over here, we have uh, dual zone climate control, so separate temperatures for driver and passenger. I and mean, it will be set, uh, set up through here. And then we also have three stage heated seats for the um, for the front two occupants, as well as obviously the rear seats, as I mentioned with the uh, the controls for those being in the back. We also have a heated steering wheel, which is really lovely in the winter. The controls for your cameras uh, all just pops up on here. So you've got like an overall uh, high top view of the car there. And then if we pop to this front one here, we can chop and change the uh, the views and choose which camera that you want to, to use. So that will push out to the front with the two um, wide angled cameras there, just looking basically down the road if you like. So it's, uh, it's very, very handy for pulling out on junctions. We also have the rear camera um, and then the side cameras obviously all pick up from here as well. And uh, we'll just stop you from curbing your wheel. But if I actually see, if I turn the steering wheel there, you can actually see the wheel, the wheel turning. So that is actually a, a live side view um, of the car on either side as well so a very nice function and feature to have uh, we also have full touchscreen satellite navigation uh, this covers you for the whole of Western Europe uh, very very nice and intuitive easy to use 
um, and it takes full postcodes and everything like that in the UK. So uh, yeah, very very nice and uh, easy easy system to use. Uh, in terms of your media and entertainment, we have uh, full digital radio as, as well as FM and AM. And then on the media section here, um, we can have Bluetooth audio streaming from your phone or from another external device. Um, and then you've also got a number of different connections as well down here in the armrest to uh, connect up to, uh, to your phone, which will charge it up and everything like that at the same time. A decent sized glove box across here with all of your books and manuals. And like I said, all the other suspension settings here as well. Um, car obviously has uh, full telephone, um, so you can uh, set up everything on here if, uh, for connections that will bring in your, your phone book and everything like that. Um, and then you also have a, a, a more um, advanced kind of climate screen here, um, just with all of the settings and everything like that for it. So the whole control panel for the car is all is all done through here. Um, get this design, which is quite nice. It sort of gives you, actually gives you the sort of steering angle that you're at at, the, at any one time. So you'll see that changing. On that, very very good for when you're you're off roading, and we'll also show you the uh, the height that you are above sea level and everything like that that comes up on as well as a, a compass. Um, the car is also equipped with a number of different um, options. I've already mentioned the adaptive cruise control, of which the uh, the main function is all chosen from down here. We also have uh, lane assist as well, um, and uh, lane departure warning, which 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 you will see just up on here. Um, I'm not quite sure if I can make it light up or not no <laughs> but uh, you can uh, it, it, what it will do is uh, just in this black box that you can see on the on the mirror there um, will we'll, um, light up orange uh, when you have a car that's coming up behind you to stop you from pulling out in front of it so it's basically like a blind assist uh, blind spot um, monitor and everything like that to, to make sure that you're um, not going to pull out in front of people um, and then obviously because of the uh, adaptive cruise control with all of the sensors that are on the front as well it'll actually um, warn you of an impending accident, accident um, coming up um, and also uh, it will actually jam on the brakes for you um, if it thinks you're about to run somebody over so very handy for and safe for people that are inside of the car as well as people that are outside of the car which is always nice um, we also have dynamic road sign display um, that is exactly as it, as it says on the tin um, it will come up onto the screen up here um, and tell you what the uh, the current speed limit is um, so that you're, uh, you're fully aware Aware of, of what that is um, and then while we're up on here as well we'll just see the tyre pressure monitor uh, so again live data um, from the tyres to, uh, to that will obviously let you know if you're you're running slightly low um, or if you have a, a slow puncture or something like that um, what else do we need to show you uh, information on the um, service and everything like that comes up on here so you'll see the next door changes due in uh, just over 9,000 miles or 363 days um, and then the larger inspection service which is uh, which is basically set for for two years time um, or 18,600 miles so that all comes up on the system here and uh, again you can see there's absolutely nothing for the new owners to do for quite some time uh, we've had it all covered um, all of the buttons and everything for your sunroof and interior lighting uh, really nicely done on here. Actually, if I open the door, you'll see the way that all lights up. Um, so it's a tilt and slide panoramic sunroof, um, so you can lift straight up, open it fully, and then we also have the electric blind that's coloured the same as the headlining that comes across the top here as well. Still lets in a nice amount of light but does block out a fair bit of it as well. But again, just a good excuse to have another look through the absolutely beautiful interior that we've got here. And in terms of any other bits and pieces, we've got uh, an electric handbrake on the car, and then we also have hill hold assist as well to stop you from rolling backwards when you're at, uh, on a hill at a junction or something like that. Um, the onboard computer up on here can show absolutely everything from things like your satellite navigation instructions um, to your phone book, uh, or what you're listening to on your on your phone or um, radio or anything like that, that all comes up on here, up onto uh, to here, as well as obviously all of your trip information and uh, stuff for your uh, all of the different driving assistance that we've got as well. So yeah, I hope that uh, gives you a, a good indication of the level of spec that we've got on this car. It's uh, it's one of the highest that we've had in before because the air suspension is an extremely rare option, um, especially on cars in the UK. Uh, it's generally only ever a, a handful of those um, available with that option on and uh, it works very very nicely and is um, apparently extremely good if you uh, if you're towing um, a trailer 
then uh, then obviously the, the self leveling suspension will put, will uh, no matter with the additional weight on the back will, will level out nicely um, and uh, it's one of the, the best um, and uh, sort of highly sought after tow cars that you can get. So yeah, just uh, wanted to give you a good good overview of the car, which I hope this video has done. Obviously, if you have any further questions, you'd like any close up uh, detail or anything, then please do let us know through our website, which is jhjarvis.co.uk. Be more than happy to uh, to help you. If you have a finance quotation that you would like uh, or a part exchange to value as well, then uh, then again, we'd absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you very much again for watching, and we'll see you next time.